this face mask and after the face mask is over with you got to deal with the rest afterwards the mother of alicia fox is brave and strong but every day she's dealing with tremendous loss in june of 2014 alicia was found murdered discovered in an abandoned home in detroit on penrod street alicia's husband is behind bars for the heinous crime he said nothing sitting there with a very narcissistic behavior and he said nothing and you believe that he's the one who knows what happened to these children? I believe that. Alicia and her young children, little Kayla Hunter, and baby Christian Justice went missing around the time their mother did, but have yet to be found. I believe that somebody could have seen something and not even known until they're aware that, oh, this happened, that I remember this, you know? So that's what most of my life consists of now, you know, just trying to get them recovered or brought home. Wednesday, Michigan State Police hosted their annual Missing Persons Day event. Nearly 4,000 people in our state have been reported missing. Approximately 900 are children. Alicia's family alongside others working to solve their loved ones cases and support each other. Torment. It's been torment. It's, a, it's like a never ending cycle. Um, you go happy, sad, you know. Um, I go into stages of mourning, you know, because sometimes after so long, you don't want to give up, but you want to give yourself closure. The reality is there's always hope the case can be cracked. This family won't give up. They can't. And in the process, they're helping others, too. It's for awareness, clarity, and just all being together to A, support each other, and B, you may come, somebody else may come up with something that you haven't done, you haven't seeked. That's really how we solve these cases is by word of mouth and getting them out there. Um, I always tell people if you see a missing persons flyer, share it. You know, that's the best way for us to get those people home. Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.